Today we're going to be dressing my vinyl reborn baby doll Bliss in her new Halloween costume. It's a Timu Disney themed outfit. So let's get her out of these pajamas that the nice Chow Chow Zaf Creation baby doll let us borrow and put onto her. Hmm, that's strange. She's she usually has her white onesie that she, yeah, came in on. I guess I took that off. And I usually, like, typically keep her onesie that she came in on her because it's just a Gerb, Gerber baby white onesie and it can go under all of her outfits. And I feel like it protects the suede body. See how she's like losing some of the firmness right there from being hunched over in the carrier? I need to somehow push some of this fluff back up to the upper body so she's not losing that fullness. Okay, so let's put this little onesie on you, Bliss. Love the crunchiness of the diapers. The plastic diapers are my favorites. Oh yeah, this goes on your little head first. So who's ready for Halloween? I think I was ready as soon as it was September 1st, but I didn't want to start doing Halloween themed doll videos too early. But around now is perfect timing, I believe. Okay, so this little onesie that she came in will just protect her her body a little bit from getting peeled and stuff by outfits. Here's the outfit from Timu. Hopefully this crunchy sound doesn't bother you guys too badly. So first, it comes with this honey dipper. So can you guys guess which Disney character Honey belongs to? <laughs> if that doesn't give it away, maybe this will. Okay, so this is an adorable little bonnet that goes with the costume. It's golden yellow and has two little ears like an animal. So it has the Honey spatula thingy-mabob and this let's go on and i'll wait a minute let's take out the rest and see i think it's two more pieces okay it's one more piece it's red and gold so i'm sure you guys have guessed it at this point she's going to be winnie the pooh for halloween <laughs> so from what i can remember i think it pretty much looks like this on the Timu app, except of course the quality was fudged to look better on their website, you know, <laughs> as they usually do. The pictures just look better, but I think it's kind of bizarre and a little bit disappointing that there's no buttons, zippers, or like doodads to undo so that she could go into the costume better. And also, it looks pretty big for a size 0 to 3 months. So, I'm a little concerned and I might have to actually give it to her silicone sister, Nyla, who you guys are very familiar with at this point from all my videos, probably. But... I'll make sure I wash it if I do have to end up giving it to the silicone baby because, you know, they can't share. Vinyl and silicone materials are not supposed to touch each other because they degrade each other over time. Okay. You know, I don't know, you guys. I kind of think this might actually work. I'll be super psyched if this is not too baggy on her. This is like the first lot of Timu items that I've ever ordered. So I really don't want to be disappointed because 
you know, I'm just not familiar with them. <laughs> That's actually pretty cute. Can you guys see it? I think you can. Oh, just slightly loose, but you know, it's very cute and it still works. Like, if you were a real baby, you could still go trick-or-treating. <laughs> oh. I hope I'm right when I keep saying that this is a Disney character. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure Winnie the Pooh is Disney. Sometimes when you start to, like, film or video things, you forget. <laughs> you just, you ask, like, dumb questions and question yourself on things that you've known forever. But I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Let me raise the camera a little. Oh, my God. You guys. This is precious, actually. Yeah, I I really like this. Now... She just needs this final piece to hold. Okay, are you going to hold it or not? Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Technical difficulties. Ah. Will you stay like that, though? That's the question. I don't think she's going to stay. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, I couldn't quite get her to sit up and hold it, but I put it in this hand, and it works a little bit better, but... This is like a really light, thin, fleecy material, in case you were wondering. And the size of this doll is 17 inches, I believe. So she's like a smaller baby doll, really. Um, because they definitely make toddlers that are like 22 to 24 inches. Here, maybe that's better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, but now it's her little... See, it is loose up here. But it's fine. Like, it totally works. You could do all sorts of role play or trick-or-treating type stuff with this. That is adorable. Or you could take her... This is the best one I've thought of yet. Yeah, you could take her to Disneyland or Disney World like this. <laughs> and... It could be for a boy or a girl. Winnie the Pooh could be either. I know he's a boy in the cartoons, but... And also, there's like a new horror movie about Winnie the Pooh. 